Wow, guys, keep watching as the Carnotaurus, T-Rex, Ian, Triceratops attack Owen and Claire. Wow, who will survive? Also, watch me film this awesome Lego Carnotaurus Gyrosphere Escape Set in Stop Motion Animation. Wow. to see you again today this is my first review of a lego jurassic world fallen kingdom sets i went ahead and paid double the price for this for you guys on ebay so i could show it to you guys two weeks early this is the carnotaurus gyrosphere escape set 75929 
and it is awesome. It includes the Carnotaurus, Owen Grady, Claire Deering, Franklin Webb, and Baby Dino. Whoa, guys, this is gonna be a sweet set. And as far as I could tell, this is gonna be the first stop motion animation set on YouTube. Sweet. And ah, uh, did you guys enjoy that stop motion animation build? Because guys, I've got, I believe, over a hundred uh, Lego sets that I put together in stop motion animation. So check out the playlist at the end of the channel and I will be doing all of the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom toy sets in stop motion animation. So you can see this one is going to be the truck, the trailer, the Carnotaurus, Gyrosphere and like a little play area there. Let's go ahead and check out the back and see some of the options. Wow, that Carnotaurus is totally awesome. I love the fact that they're doing a lot of Carnotauruses because for uh, Jurassic World by uh, Hasbro, they didn't build any, so that was very disappointing. Okay, well, anyways, here you can see the whole back slides off. Here you got the baby dinosaur and the bunch of eggs. Here is the play area with the gyrosphere. Here is the vehicle shooting the gyrosphere. And it says collect them all. So this will be all the dinos. And then you can build your own hybrids by popping pieces off and doing some really cool ones, which I will be. But anyways, let's go ahead, open this up, and check out what's inside. But guys, I am super excited. This is actually going to be the very first one I open from the Fallen Kingdom. Wow. <laughs> guys this is totally cool and also uh, I have talked to Lego they're gonna be sending me a big huge surprise box of a lot of these sets and merchandise and everything so I will be opening that up that's probably gonna be about one to two weeks from now but I will be building all of these sets so anyways in here you get the Carnotaurus you get bag number one of Lego pieces, bag number two, bag number three, and number four, and number five. So five bags of Lego pieces. You got the gyrosphere, and looks like these are some kind of gates here. You've got a set of stickers. And it looks like two instruction books. And let me see also if they... Oh, uh, they'll probably show it in the second one. The uh, actual other sets that you can buy. Okay, so here is some of them. So here is some of the sets you can buy. Really awesome. And it's telling you here you could build hybrid dinos. Check this out. What they did here. Build your own hybrid. So I guess... Oh, I guess they're just flipping pieces, but I just seen the coloring here. It's like gray and brown. And so, I guess that's just one of the dinos. Okay, well, anyways, and here is five other sets. They will be having 13 total sets. Some of the sets are, uh, I believe, uh, from the classic line, but they still will be listed as Jurassic World, so it will be. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and put this together, and then we'll have some fun. Wow, guys, this LEGO Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom Carnotaurus Gyrosphere Escape set 75929 is totally awesome. So you already seen the speed build at the beginning. So right now, let's just go ahead, jump in, and check out everything else. Uh, the first thing I'm going to check out is the Carnotaurus, because this guy is totally awesome. Okay, so I'm not really sure, but I think this is the first Lego Carnotaurus that was made. So that is totally awesome. If I'm wrong about that, uh, correct me in the comment section. 
So anyways, Carnotaurus, really awesome. He's got like the, uh, almost like the horns on the front here. Uh, mouth opens and closes. Uh, closes really nice, actually. Clicks into locking position. You could open it up more, but it does click back unless you disjoint it from here. Great job with the paint. The head turns 360 degrees and clicks into different positions. It will go up and down. The arms move, the legs move and lock into different positions. So you could have this guy standing way up if you want to. Really cool coloring. It's like a dark brown, lighter brown and orange. He's got spikes down his back. He's got Lego blocks here. They actually say Lego. And that's the way you tell if this thing is authentic or not. If this was a knockoff, it would not say Lego. The tail twists back and forth. So, really awesome Carnotaurus. Next we have the truck and trailer. So the trailer does hook up to the truck and it will follow right behind it when you are moving. Or if you want, you can simply unhook the trailer. And let's check out the options on the trailer. First you have a gyrosphere launcher. If you go ahead and hit that there, it launches the gyrosphere off. Then you can see it's got big oversized tires. It's got lights there that swivel back and forth. Antenna here that turns 360 degrees. This is the launcher. You just simply click it forward. Here is where you connect it to the truck. Here's a good look at the bottom. And then you got the gyrosphere here. The seat inside actually turns as you turn the gyrosphere so if you could put a character in there and as it's turning the seat moves too so the character is always facing forward so cool gyrosphere and then we have the truck the truck is pretty similar to the uh last jurassic world one uh it just seems to be different colors and a different logo but anyways the back of the truck here the trailer part well the back of the truck will just slip off if you want you could just pop the whole roof of the truck off right here and play inside the truck so inside the truck you have this little computer thing you've got these little drawers that open uh, like this one has like a syringe and a bone inside it you've got a wrench over here for fixing the truck it fits right back in there the characters could be in here working you could have the little like maybe they're working on the little baby dino to save him and then when you're done just simply go ahead pop this top right back on there and let's check out the rest so you have the new Jurassic World logo over here with the big slash in it here is where it attaches to the truck I thought this front move no the front does not move okay then here is the other side the inside the bottom and then let's go ahead and take a look at the truck itself. The truck is really cool. Big oversized rubber tires that roll really nice and smooth. You got mirrors that move. The doors open and close. So if you want, I guess, yeah, you could squeeze a character in here from the side. Or the top also opens up, which I will show you in a moment. And then you got uh, like a shovel here on the side. You've got the exhaust here, which will move back and forth. Go ahead, close the door, put the mirror back. The mirror's got lights here too. Here you can see you got a lot of lights in the front, a nice clear windshield, uh, 
cool license plate. Here is the other side. Again, the mirrors move, the door opens and closes. Here you got, uh, you could put like one of their weapons on to here. Good look at the back. The back part of the truck actually locks on here, so it's really nice and secure. There's a look at the bottom. And then at the top here, you've got this little uh, thing that will shoot. If you push it down, it'll shoot this little green part off. You have like a roof escape there. And then if you want, you could just simply pop the whole roof off and fit at least one of the characters in here, either standing or sitting. You got a working steering wheel in there. And then let's go ahead and simply the back of it you just line up with those there and it locks right up and then let's go ahead and take a look at this like launcher dino area so this is really cool too the uh first feature i like you put the gyrosphere here you tap the back and it shoots the gyrosphere out really nice and smoothly so let's take a look at that again <laughs> that is awesome. And then uh, we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. So here it says Gyrosphere, nice big sign. In the back here you've got three dinosaur eggs in a nest. You could move these sides up and down if you want. And then you could also put the little baby dino back here, almost like it hatched out of the eggs. There is a good look at the other side. A good look at the launcher. Uh, the roof here will actually move in and out. And then up here you actually have like a trap door. There's a little lever back here you could pull and these pieces on top all dump out. And here's a look from the bottom so you can see what happens there. So it does completely open and close over here. So you pull this in the back, dumps everything out. So here's a good look at the top from the back. This is the lever you actually pull that will drop the trap door. And then here is a look at the back of it. Then for the characters, you've got Owen, Claire, Franklin Webb, and Baby Dinosaur. So let's go ahead and take a look at these one at a time. So there's a look at the Owen character. He's got a gun. He's got like a beard, mustache. And then on the back, you can see he has a smiling expression. And this is his serious expression. So just like any Lego set, uh, you're going to have the moving arms and the legs. And then we have Claire. So here she has like a scared look. You turn her head around, she has a happy look. She's got her hair up in a ponytail. And she's got like a different uniform. Oh, the Owen one I like too because you finally get Owen without a vest. All the other uh, Lego ones, Owen always had a vest. And then you got Franklin Webb. He's got like a scared look and a very serious look. 
black hair, his arms move, his legs move, and then you've got the little baby dino, which it doesn't really do anything, but it does look like a baby raptor. Guys, so the fun thing about these sets is the Lego sets are pretty similar size. So here you have the Carnotaurus, here you've got like a green T-Rex. So the cool thing is you could have these guys have awesome battles. And what this guy will do, he'll rip off the T-Rex's head. Oh no! T-Rex is gone! Oh no, he's going for Franklin! Ah! He's got Franklin! And there goes Franklin! Now, Owen! Oh no! We're not gonna have a Jurassic World 3! There goes Owen right down his throat! Claire tries to run in her high heel shoes and down she goes! Uh-oh. Guess we're not gonna have a Jurassic World 3 here, but what is this? Oh, the Indominus Rex is charging! It's a ferocious battle between them! Ah. Carnotaurus rips off the Indominus Rex's jaw! Indominus doesn't know what to do, so the Carnotaurus finishes the job! Dominus Rex's head. What is this? Oh, Triceratops is charging, but the Carnotaurus jumps over him, gets him from the back, and can you guess what'll happen? Yup, he rips off the Triceratops's head. The Carnotaurus is the victor, and he leaves a trail of destruction behind him. Okay, guys, that was totally awesome. I love making these Lego uh, stop motion speed builds for you guys. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead, click like, drop me comments. I also do have over a hundred Lego stop motion animation builds. So go ahead, check out the playlist at the end of this channel. And you guys are totally awesome. I do got over a thousand videos. The majority are Jurassic World, Jurassic Park, Godzilla, King Kong, Jurassic World 2, and a lot more. So go ahead, check out the playlist on my channel, and I will see you tomorrow. And today's secret word is the word... Go ahead and put that in the comment section down below the video. I'll know you're a member of my club. Click the subscribe button below for a lot more fun videos. Also, click the bell button to be notified every time I make a new video. Click the boxes below for a lot more fun videos. And if you want to see even more, go ahead and click the subscribe button.